Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you news, a huge decision that Catherine and William have made for Princess Charlotte in the midst of King Charles's cancer battle, and an update on her health turns fans into tears. Reports suggest that the Prince and Princess of Wales will be returning to Windsor with their children after the Easter holidays when their children have a clear understanding of the situation with King Charles and her mother's health. Everything appears to be in order. However, an atmosphere of turmoil continues to linger in the royal household, causing many problems along the way. For example, the health of King Charles and Princess Catherine's fight against cancer put a lot of strain on Prince William, who's about to become king. The weight of King Charles's influence installed upon Prince William and Princess Catherine of Wales throughout the serious conversation concerning the future of the monarchy. Prince William and Princess Catherine ought to be geared up for the enormous obligations that will be required of them in order to perpetuate the monarchy in the years to come. The word spare will eventually be used to describe Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, which is the first topic that immediately comes to mind when thinking about the relationship between Princess Catherine and Prince William. Princess Catherine and Prince William have no desire to face in such negative fact. Based on an investigation, a historian said that the weight of that strain would be placed upon their children sooner than they had anticipated. Information from private sources reports that Princess Catherine and Prince William are acutely aware of the issues that Charlotte and Louis are facing. It's expected that Prince Louis and Princess Charlotte will continue to live the rest of their lives as spares to their brother, Prince George, who will one day become king. However, because of the contemporary teaching style of Princess Catherine and Prince William, as well as the two royal models that seem somewhat improbable, they have no reason to fret about living in the shadow of their brother. Princess Catherine and Prince William are acutely mindful of the challenges that Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis have to deal with as they grow up as spares compared to their older sibling Prince George, who will one day become the king. This is the opinion of a royal specialist who has shown admiration for the contemporary parenting method that the Prince and Princess of Wales have adopted. The royal specialist indicates that the royal couple is hoping to maintain their choices accessible while decreasing the obstacles that they may run into in an attempt to eke out the royal existence of their very own without being caught up in the midst of the shadow of the successor to the throne, George. This is because the couple is working hard to ensure that the kids they have, younger than them, have a regular as life as possible. Specialists make the observation that, among the numerous advantages of the Prince and Princess of Wales' choice for mild parenting, which is motivated by what Catherine discovered from her pursuits of early childhood education, it's evident that the couple will continue working to normalize their lives and those of their younger kids, in order to ensure that their kids never have to feel as though working as royals is their only choice. William and Catherine have to remain fully conscious of the challenges involved for a royal spare. They have to be mindful of the concerns, and with regards to the upbringing of royal children, they have already demonstrated that they take a distinct and contemporary approach, and I have no doubt that they'll go above and beyond all of their power to ensure that Charlotte and Louis feel every bit as unique, cherished, and appreciated as George. I have a feeling that they'll push Louis to investigate life outside of the royal fold. It might be serving in the armed forces, but it might additionally involve working in the field of charity or any other opportunity he finds intriguing when he's completed his schooling. They're certain to urge him to attend university, which they both liked, and where, of course, they discovered love. I have no doubt that they will do this. Despite the expectation of a high-profile role, a royal expert asserts that Princess Charlotte will serve as a backup to her uncle, Prince Harry. George, Prince of Wales, and Charlotte, Princess of Wales, and Prince William and Princess Catherine's children, serving as the spare and heir to the crown, respectively. Prince Harry's book title is Spare, which is the term for the heir's support. After George gets married and has a family, Charlotte will remain a spare, according to a report. As she continued, another considers that Charlotte is going to be a senior royal assisting the king because of the upcoming reduction in the size of the royal household. Princess Charlotte, a member of the royal family, is likely to perform royal duties. 
especially said that people like contrasting Princess Anne with Princess Charlotte because they're both female and the heir's younger sister. Their formal functions, however, are quite different. In terms of rank and seniority, Princess Anne follows Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. A younger sibling cannot put Princess Charlotte down since she constitutes the spare, he said. Princess Charlotte, Harry's niece, is eight years old and follows in the order of succession after Prince George, who's ten years old after his father. In my opinion, Princess Charlotte's future position will be similar to that of Prince Edward or Prince Andrew prior to the controversies, the specialist went on to say. Compared to Princess Anne, I believe Princess Charlotte is going to assume a little more prominent role. Prince Edward typically represents the British royal family at major international events, especially those in Europe. A specialist concluded that Princess Charlotte might assume the role of a spokeswoman for the British royal family at international royal weddings and other formal functions. The younger member of the family has always had it tough as the spare is thrown into the world of plenty and focus without a clear path to fit in or something to strive for. Whereas Prince William backs it, since the release of his explosive biography, Spare, the term has become synonymous with Harry, even though it was previously associated with people like King George VI. It can be challenging to assume the role of the Spare Royal, as it necessitates royals to re-evaluate their identity as those not directly linked to the crown. According to a report, a surprising couple can teach the young royals, Charlotte and Louis, how to act as spares. Royal experts made the case that Prince Edward and Sophie, as Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, are exemplary role models for the younger royals due to their achievements within the family of the royals. Once again, proving their worth on the 8th of April, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge performed a historic event on behalf of King Charles, solidifying their position as one of the most valuable members of the royal family. Edward and Sophie's individual popularity and reputation inside royal groups have dramatically increased in the 13 months since they were appointed as holders of their newly acquired titles. As the king concentrates on his recovery, they frequently receive invitations to participate in important events on his behalf. By way of the Duke of Edinburgh Awards scheme, Prince Edward actively supports artistic endeavours and carries on his father's legacy. A passionate advocate for equality between men and women, Sophie has sparked conversations about ending female genital mutilation and finding ways to stop preventable cases of blindness. Thank you for watching today's video. Please let us know your thoughts and goodbye for the time being.